morning. So what was your name? My name is Likita. So Likita. Yes. Okay, Likita. So, so can I get your resume? Okay, Likita, please introduce yourself. Uh, good morning, sir. Thank you for the opportunity to let me, letting me to introduce myself. I am Likita. I am person B Tech final year in the stream of computer science and engineering. Uh, my hobbies are reading books and listening music. My short term goal is to become an independent woman. My long term goal is to be placed in a reputed company. So, what are our hobbies? Uh, reading books and uh, listening music. Okay, so you love uh, music? Huh? Yes. So, only listening or playing? Listening also. Only listening. So, which type of music you uh, love to listen? I love to listen Carnatic music. Carnatic music. So, I mean, um, uh, something like authentic style of music. Huh? Yes. Okay, good. So, good like that. So, have you done your project on your uh, graduation? Yes, sir. So, can you explain me uh, a few lines about your project? Uh, so, my pro project title is uh, Detection of Cyberbullying using social in Social Media Using ML. Uh, it's used to detect the uh, profiles based, with, uh, based on tweet messages and uh, speech tweets and the comments from the Wikipedia. These comments uh, will pro provide to the server and it will be detecting whether it is when, whether the message is cyberbullied or not. Okay. So, completely bigger, uh, completely, your product is completely regarding the cyber security. Somehow. Yes. Okay, that's good. So, it sounds good. So, uh, I think, uh, so you are somewhat good in Java. Yes. Okay. So, have you taken any coach, uh, coaching anywhere at all? So, have you taken a yeah. uh, coaching? Yes, sir. Okay, so, are you proficient in Java? Yes, sir. Okay, so, can I ask you some questions in yeah, Java? Sure, sir. Okay. Uh, so, what is the data types and what are the types of data we are having in Java? Sir, so in Java, we are uh, we are having two types of data types. It's One is primitive data type and another one is non-primitive data type. Uh, we are having primitive data types of eight and non-primitive are, uh, we, are, we cannot define. There are many primitive, non primitive data types. Uh, coming to eight primitive data uh, primitive data types, there are integer, character, boolean, uh, float, int, long, byte, and shorts. Okay. So good. So non primitive examples uh, of non primitive data types uh, can you mention? Yes, sir. Non primitive data types are uh, classes, interfaces, etc. Classes and interfaces. No objects. They, yeah, all these things yes. come under. So non primitive, non -primitive data, data types. types. So, uh, do you know anything about uh, JVM? Yes, sir. JVM is a Java virtual machine which uh, is used for the run of uh, source code to the machine which is used to run the machine code. So, which is used to translate from uh, high code, language high language, language to low level language. So, low level language and machine level of language. So that's what. So, uh, what is the execution engine in Java? Uh, Java virtual machine. Execution engine. Whether it was the interpreter or compiler? Uh, compilers. Okay, compiler. First compiler will compile the code and uh, interpreter will run the code. Okay. So, how the compiler will execute this code in uh, Java? It will execute at a single time. Single, single. time. Yes. Okay. That's good. Okay, so then, so I will ask you about. Uh, so, do you know anything about control structures in Java? Yes, sir. Control statements are uh, used where uh, the code has to be repeatedly executed by based by based on the conditions. Okay. Uh, it, it is also used to for different cases to be executed at a single time. Okay. So, what are the types of control structures we are having in Java? Uh, we are having uh, for loop. While, to while, switch. And your condition statements. What are the condition statements? So you said about looping statements, right? Okay, so control structures are having completely uh, two types of uh, control structures. One is condition statements and another is looping. looping. So you said about looping. So what about the conditions? If, 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 else, if else, 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 and else. for each. For each, good. So switch also. I thought, okay, so switch case. Yes, sir. switch case, good. Okay, I thought, uh, so you have mentioned only, when I was asking the question, you have mentioned only for loop, that uh, looping statements, about the looping statements. So, are you good in for looping statements? Yes. Okay, so how how you are good in looping statements? Out of five, what was your rating in looping statements? Because it was a very important topic. Yes. Okay. 
it's a it, it's the as it is the basic of uh, for every programming. So I I'll give a rate of four by five. Four by five out of for your uh, looping statements looping. knowledge. Yes. Okay. So what type of looping statements we are having? So answer me one one more time. Uh, we are having looping statements as if if else else if and switch. If if else switch. else if and switch. So it's not okay. Switch is not a looping statement. Okay. So switch is conditional statement. Mm -hmm. So I was asking about looping statements, not conditional statements. You have mentioned about conditional statements. So looping statements are for loop, while loop, and do while loop. Okay. So what is the difference between for loop and while loop? So for loop, we will uh, give the first we will initialize the value and we will give the condition until which the loop has to be uh, iterated and we'll increment the value. So next for coming to do while, first it will check the con first it will execute no, I was the. Asking, sorry to interrupt you. So I was asking about difference between for loop and while loop. Uh, so while loop first it will. If the condition is true, then it will execute the code, sir. And for loop, it will execute a single statement multiple times based on giving the condition. So you said somewhat like okay, so A B B C, so so A B C again and all. So the correct statement, the correct way of telling is, so whenever we know the number of iterations or range of iterations, we go with the for loop. Okay. So whenever we don't know about or we are not clear about the number of iterations, the only uh, our way of our, our chance of iterations is depending upon the conditions, we go with the while loop. Okay? So, okay then, good. Okay, uh, so which feature in Java will help you to take the values from the user for your programming necessities? So, scanner class is used to take the input from the users. Okay, so it's in class. util package. It was from? Util package. Util package. Java dot util, util. package. So, are we needed to uh, import the title package or it will be imported automatically whenever we create a file? We have file. to import uh, the so, so we need to import it. Yeah, okay. we need to import it. Okay, so do you know anything about IO exceptions? Yes, uh, IO exceptions are uh, checked exceptions, uh, which is used to where throw the exception uh, by the user itself, which we use throws keywords. So, so what is IO uh, derivation, I mean derivation means uh, elaboration? I go. In oh, yeah, that's what input. input on output. output. Good. Okay, then. Uh, so, so which type of language is Java? Either it was a object-oriented programming language or a scripting language. Object-oriented programming language. So, can you say the definition of object-oriented programming language? Uh, it's an object-oriented programming language because we have the four uh, methods that is abstraction, encapsulation, polymorphism, and inheritance. So it, Java is. So as is Java supports all these concepts, concepts and all, so, so it was object -oriented object -oriented programming language. language. Okay. So uh, as you said, object oriented programming language. So the entire execution of object oriented programming language is uh, depends upon class and objects. Yes. Okay. So can we write any statements or can we declare any uh, building blocks outside of the class in Java no, programming? Sir. No, so we why? cannot declare because class is the basic uh, structure of Java code. So class is a basic. So whatever we gonna write for the building blocks of programming, we should write in class, class itself. itself. So there are some methods, right? Yes. Sir. So which method is mandatory for writing Java program? Main methods. Main method. Main Why? Method. Because without the main method, we create objects in main method. So main method is important because okay. it's static and. Without static. of writing any main methods, can't we uh, execute the Java program? No, sir. We cannot execute. We cannot execute. Even though if we created a Java object of the class. Uh, we create object through the main class also. Okay, so it is mandatory. Good. So uh, you said the four concepts of uh, uh, object oriented program. Yes. Oops. Yes. Okay. So then, uh, what is the definition for inheritance? Can I know? Inheritance. We uh, inheritance is the concept where uh, parent uh, we have the superclass and the subclass. We inherit the properties. It is used for the code reusability. So inheriting the properties of parent, parent class. class. That means so code reusability. Yes. So we'll write us some code in on one class and we'll call, call that class, class to call that class with the another class objects. Good. So what is polymorphism? Polymorphism, poly is many and morph means uh, forms. Executing one method with having with the different inputs and outputs are different. So based on the behavior of the outputs, so we'll get the 
based on behavior of inputs, we get the output. That means the ability of uh, any building blocks to execute in many other forms. We declare for one purpose, so we can use it for another purpose. So then, so why this keyword is used? This keyword is used to access the class variables or class constructors. Class variables and class constructors. Okay. So do you know anything about uh, uh, getter methods and setter methods? Getter method is used to read the input from the user and setter method is used to print the statements. So then I will go with my last question. Okay. So uh, explain me about the jumping statements. As you said you are good in uh, loops, right? Yes. So they will be uh, coming under the loop concept. So explain me something about jumping statements. Yes, sir. Uh, so what are the types of uh, what are the, uh, jumping statements we are having in Java programming? Uh, for jumping statements. If if else else if no. Okay, so then so they are break and continue. Okay. 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 Then uh, Likita, right? Yes. Okay. Then Likita. So I was uh, done with my part. So are you having any questions? Okay. Then. Okay, then so we will update you uh, about your performance and all. Okay. So all the best, you can leave. Thank you.